uh, an example around the area of improving your emotional well-being. Um, very important these days. John is fighting mental health issues, loneliness, and depression through some fun K-Metaverse. Please welcome John. Hello. Um, I'm Sanjay Yoon. I'm the CEO and founder of Jan Company. What does Jan mean? Jan has multiple meanings in Korean. It's cheers. It's also feelings that make you feel sorry. Aw, kind of feeling. And something like, ta-da, Jan. So our virtual, new virtual drinking platform, Jan, comes to our users who might be feeling Jan so they can meet Jan and hang out over a drink to feel connected, understood, and have some fun. The case study I'll share with you is fighting mental well-being issue through fun K-metaverse. Have you ever gotten into bed at the end of the day and realized you haven't spoken out to anyone since the day before? I see some people nodding. Or simply found yourself feeling completely alone? According to a Harvard report, over one in three Americans face serious loneliness during the pandemic, including over 60% of young adults. According to a global survey too, about 33% of adults experience some level of loneliness worldwide. Yes, it's true that the pandemic has deepened loneliness, but were people not feeling lonely before the pandemic? Of course they were, of course you were, right? Um, why? Because even before the pandemic, once beco we become an adult, it becomes more and more difficult to meet, connect, and have a meaningful interaction um, with others due to space and time constraints, lack of energy, lack of opportunities, to name a few. Emotional, situational, social, and chronic. There are a lot of types of loneliness, and these all should be tackled differently. Depending on the type of loneliness um, you're feeling, there are different things you can try to solve the problem. Focus on things you enjoy, seek therapy, meet people and socialize offline or online. There are many services that can help improve loneliness and our emotional well-being. Some products are casual and one-way, like meditation apps. Some are professional and one-way, like providing customized tools for mental health. Some are professional and interactive, like matching a counselor for one-on-one -on -one therapy. Some products are casual and interactive, like social gaming or casually communicating with other people. Jan takes the most casual and interactive form. Jan connects people based on their interests and needs, allows them to have two-way video communication using our unique features that guarantee a virtual fun night out from the comfort of your own home. With whomever they hang out with, whether with family, strangers who become your new friends, or even celebrities. On Jan, you can have a drink with anyone, anywhere, anytime. It's a virtual bar that connects you with friends and family you miss from the comfort of your own home. Humans never fail to find a way. You can also meet new friends um, on, on Jan with similar interests, whether that's singing karaoke or talking about childcare, as you once did on AOL, long time ago. You can even hang out with celebrities on Jan. Our users get together from 47 different countries to talk to celebrities and get comforted. They not only hang out with the celebrity, but also make new friends within the group. Jan currently takes the form of a drinking video chat platform as we only launched in March of this year. But we aim to upgrade to become more three-dimensional metaverse where users can build their own space, own three-dimensional bar, so to speak, on streets from different times they miss. Jan encourages distant socializing rather than social distancing to help humans live more like humans 
who as a social species have a fundamental need to feel a sense of belonging and connection to others. It's one of Jan's missions to improve mental well-being of humans around the world by making them feel connected and understood and thus feel less lonely and depressed. Jan is not just for when the bars are closed. It's a new social drinking culture we would like to lead. Meet when you're free, where you feel most comfortable and safe, with the people you miss, with new friends you make. Apart but together, you will never feel lonely on Jan. Jan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a follow-up question? Yes, of course. Well done. Thank you. I love that you can connect with new people, with your own friends, and it stood out to me that you have John with some celebrities, some famous folks that are involved and that you can share John with. Yeah. Do you have any favorites? Were there any favorite celebrities that have used or you would like to use your platform and why? Well, so the, the, celebrity, the favorite celebrity I used was a K-pop star named Kyu Hyun from Super Junior. Like he's, he's been around for 17 years, the group, the boy band. Um, and so they have fans from all over the world. So we didn't even have to do you know, aggressive global marketing. We just posted on his Instagram or Twitter that he's coming, or he actually posted on his Twitter, um, three hours before he came on Jan. And like, you know, it was, Boom, 47 different nationalities gathered to get comforted, to interact, and really sort of have some meaningful time um, where they didn't feel lonely anymore and they felt like, oh my God, this made my day. So, yeah. I love that. It's what's possible. Well, thank you so much.